If you ever feel like you're on edge all the time or find yourself easily startled by loud, sudden sounds, it could be a sign that your body is holding on to past trauma. Trauma dysregulates your nervous system and throws you into a constant state of hypervigilance or hyperarousal, an overactive state of alert. Hyperarousal and hypervigilance can transform an otherwise safe situation into places that feel threatening. This means your body is on high alert, searching for possible dangers, basically in a perpetual state of fight or flight. That's why you might feel agitated or easily irritable. So how do these complicated emotions manifest physically? One such way might be through the Moro reflex. The Moro reflex typically occurs when you are a baby. In babies, it's a normal and primitive reaction to stimulation. How is this relevant? Because as adults, we still carry versions of our early reflexes. You hear a loud noise and instinctively cower or cover your head. Why? Trauma could be a reason. Usually, as we get older, we grow out of primitive reflexes. But if you have been through a traumatic or distressing childhood, some of these reflexes may have stayed with you. Early childhood trauma not only affects your emotions, but also your neurological development and neurophysiology, aka the shape of your brain. The short scientific version is that trauma interrupts the natural development of your reflexes by sending you from fight or flight to disassociative episodes. This constant switching back and forth makes it difficult to have normal reflexes and respond to stimulus. So your flinching or startled reactions to loud noises or overstimulation is a result of how your body decides to interpret potential danger. However, there are more reasons beyond the neurological aspects as to why your body stores trauma. Your brain and mind can only handle so much distress. As a result, the body steps in to shoulder some of the burden. The connection between your mind and body is incredible. They are interdependent and help each other out when necessary. If the mind is overwhelmed with trauma, the trauma begins to affect your tissues and fascia. Pent-up trauma in your body usually manifests itself in physical pain and muscle stiffness. When something really bad happens, our bodies can't always shake it off. Traumatic experiences can get stuck in our nervous system, making us super sensitive to everyday stuff. That's why we might overreact to little things sometimes. But here's the good news. We can work through it. Believe it or not, you can heal your nervous system. It'll take time and patience but you can help it rewire through deep breathing, proper nutrition, and professional help. Deep breathing not only helps release tension, but also stimulates the vagus nerve, a part of your parasympathetic system. Understanding how trauma affects our bodies is the first step to healing. By recognizing our reflexes and finding ways to soothe our nervous system, we can start to let go of the past and reclaim our sense of peace. Remember, it's okay to ask for help along the way. There are plenty of resources out there to help support you on your journey to healing.